today. We're gonna to do a, a burger and I'm gonna show you how to grill a burger. In my opinion, how to grill the perfect burger. This is a, you know, a really simple version. I'm just gonna go through the techniques, how to pack the meat, season it, grill it off uh, so you can get some grill marks. I'll probably put some cheese on mine, so I'm not sure you're gonna see the grill marks on the, uh, on the final product, but we'll certainly talk about how to get them there. There's a thousand different ways you can do burgers, a thousand different toppings. You know, go through my videos. I've got, I've got NFL inspired burgers up there, lots of different ones, but they all, any grilled burger anyway, all rely on these same fundamental techniques to make them perfect. Again, very simple, but start of summer, it's grilling season. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started on our burger. We're doing the uh, how to grill a burger today. I've got a ground beef here. That's all I really use for my uh, for my burgers. There's no mixer, there's no filler, no breadcrumbs. You know, some people swear by putting some spices in there. You can certainly do it if you want. Me, I'm not a big fan. I just like the uh, the plain old burger. Um, some people also swear 80/20. I actually I actually agree. 80/20 mix, you know, fat lean is going to give you the uh, probably the tastiest burger, probably the juiciest burger. But there are con some concessions to health and. Um, you know, 90-10, which is what I got here. A little less fat, a little less calories, a little healthier is not so bad. The one thing you do want to do, you know, making a big, small, medium-sized burger, you can do any size you want, won't really matter. But you don't really want to overwork the, uh, the hamburger, okay? You just want to get it together enough to form a nice patty, um, however thick you want as well. It's just going to change the cooking time, not really, um, you know, anything else is a, is a, uh, is a bit of preference. The one thing I do, and this is actually a Bobby Flay tip that I picked up, is once you got your patty formed, just put a little dimple right in the middle. And that is going to help um, keep the burger the same size, as opposed to you make them like the size of the bun, you put them on the grill, they shrink up, you got this little tiny burger and a big huge bun. And that little dimple right in the middle will help maintain its uh, same size, same shape. Once we got this done, you know, you can do this a couple hours ahead of time, keep it in the fridge. We're going to uh, take it out and let it come up to room temperature before we uh, cook it off. And that's when we're going to season with salt and pepper. Okay, so we've got our burgers now um, all set up. I've let them sit out for 20 minutes or so, get them up to room temperature. I've got my new little toy here, a little spray gun for olive oil. You want to get them um, greased on, uh, on one side. I'm using olive oil, like I said. Now's the time to season them, that they're at room temperature. And we're going to season both sides. Now, if you like me and you got little eaters, medium eaters, or medium eaters and big eaters, no problem. You can make the burgers different size. We're just going to start them at different times, right? So the biggest ones go first, then the, uh, the middle ones, then the last ones. You don't really adjust the heat at all. You adjust the cooking time. Okay, a little more pepper on that middle one. We're going to season both sides. I've already got my grill lit. You want to get that grill? as hot as you can, and then we're gonna come back and um, grill these guys off. All right, so I let my grill get as hot as it goes for about 20 minutes or so. We're gonna start with the big guys, of course, because again, we don't adjust heat, we just adjust cooking time. I'm gonna lay them on there, a little flame up from the oil that should subside, especially if we close the lid, and we're just gonna let them sit for about three minutes. All right, so it's been a couple minutes. I have not touched my burgers, but I can even see they're getting a little um, you know, darker, even on the top there from the heat and the grill. It's gonna be time to flip them now. And those grill marks, the way we get those grill marks are by having a super hot grill and leaving them alone, not coming in and flipping them all over the place. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this guy around. That's also how we get that nice char on that side. Now these other little guys, they're about half the size. They're gonna take about half the time to cook. So we're gonna lay them on now. And in about two minutes, we're gonna come back, flip these, we're gonna lay cheese on them, lay cheese on them once we flip them. We'll wash our uh, spatula and we're almost there. All right, so you can see even with our dimple, our uh, burgers are puffing up a little bit. They will drop down in um, just a second when we take them off the grill. We're gonna flip these over and then start throwing our cheese on. I'm gonna do the double on mine. You gotta put the cheese on early so that it melts for you. We'll do there, there. We go. These guys are smaller. They're for the kids. Throw them there. Throw them there. Then um, we're gonna kill the heat, close the lid, and let that cheese melt. 
Okay, let's check it out. Our cheese now is melted. Last thing I'm gonna do, very optional again, get a little crust on our buns if you want. You know, even like if you grab our spray bottle of olive oil and you hit that, that's a nice way to do it as well. You get a little crust on the, uh, on the burgers or the burger buns. You don't really have to, and they certainly don't take long. So I'm gonna remove our burgers. We're gonna let them rest for, you know, about four minutes or so before we serve them up. Okay, let's go ahead and plate our grilled burger up. I'm going traditional, a little bit of lettuce on the bottom. Lettuce goes on the bottom to protect the bun from the juices of this juicy, juicy, juicy burger. Go ahead and throw, um, for me, a little bit of uh, tomato. I got a couple slices here that you lay nice on top. A Little bit of red onion. It looks so, so nice on that burger. You know, use as much or as little as you want. Be creative with the toppings, mayo, mustard, ketchup, pickles, whatever you want. It's going to be awesome. And I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required. All right, like I said, super simple, easy to do these burgers, these perfect grilled burgers. They're going to come out juicy, tender, wonderful every single time. Go ahead, um, check out my NFL series. I mentioned that before. A lot of great options up there. Even if you don't think football, you're going to find a burger you love out of the 32 uh, versions I put together. And uh, you know, burgers aren't your thing, steaks probably are. Here's a link to all my grilled steak recipes and techniques. Go ahead, check them out. I'm sure you're gonna find something there that you love. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.